Today, we are going to tackle one of the festivals that my province, Pangasinan, proudly celebrates every summer, the Pistay Dayat, or relatively known as Sea Festival. It is a festival celebrated every 1st of May as Thanksgiving for the year's abundance of harvest from the sea. Many locals and visitors come merely to just enjoy the festival celebration with a variety of souvenirs and food coming from different towns of the province displayed for community attraction as well as opportunities for importing good products. Anyways, let's dive deeper of what we can find here in this so-called Pistay Diet. To state some facts, as this video is about a summer festival, this was when the time of going here with my friends Brian, Carol, and Merlin, and it was the year's first day of May. Starting off, we firstly visited this stall of traditional rudiments and garments worn by ethnic groups here in our province. I'm not quite sure where they're made from, but these textiles are crafted by hands. If you want to immerse yourself, try wearing one for yourself. By the way, if you don't know, Philippines is known for having many ethnic tribes with many groups having their own specific dialect. For instance, in my province Pangasinan, we are called Pangasinense and we speak Pangasinan. Try to learn my language. Say, Inatnarutaka. Say it. For its meaning, better search for it. It's a lesson for you to know. Moving forward, you can't miss the flavorful condiments that we are very proud of. We have batis or fish sauce, chili paste, native wine, crab sauce, and many more. The most notable one though is our very own bagoong, a condiment made from fermented fish or krill. It has a unique taste that will surely make an impression to you as it can make a lot of delicious food. It's a product indeed that we, Pangasinense, are proud of. We even celebrate a festival dedicated to it called Bagoong Festival. Being in here, I also saw stalls selling mushrooms, edible mushrooms that you can grow yourself. Of course, if it's a line meant to sell food packed up as pasalubong, we can all agree that we might get tempted into buying homemade sweets. Pulvoron, banana chips, and delectable treats are the common ones that were displayed. Oh, there's a lot of things for me to choose from. Next, they also sell fish products in here. And literally fish products, as they are literal fish that are mostly dried up in the sun. Daing, Toyo, and Bilad are some of them that I've recognized. The process of making it is interesting as they are prepared of splitting them open, gutting out, then seasoned with salt and finally sun-dried and air-dried. These dried fishes are usually served in breakfast, but you can eat it any time of the day. Being there, I get to try eating one unique product called Bangus Usually, ano siya, bangus products po. Meron po kaming bangus Shanghai, bangus longganisa, bangus tapa, um, bangus embutido, bangus sinapa, and relleno. Ano po sa tingin niyo ang pinaka tinatangkilik po na produkto po ninyo? Yung amin pong ano, bangus longganisa and bangus tapa. Kasi uh, parang yun yung parang bago sa pandinig nila na wow, pwede palang, pwede palang ilongganisa yung bangus. Well, bangus longganisa definitely sounds different to me. Oh, ay bangus ba? Bangus Iba yung lasa. Tapos ito po, ano po itong isa? Ito po yung ano, Shanghai na. Shanghai. Bangus Shanghai. Bangus Shanghai. Gabi yung pag-zoom mo. Dapat meron pong ano, ketchup ganun. Dapat may ketchup pong ganun. Then joke lang, joke lang. Moving on a little bit from local food products being sold, there were also artistic ornaments made from recyclable materials, such as plastic. Being a province who cares for our surroundings and beaches, we try to help by recycling things such as plastic bottles and shells and incorporating our artistic skills to make a design out of a thing we usually consider to be trash. Well, that's just how artistic, 
caring and resourceful we Pangasinenses are. Speaking of traits, there were also numerous furniture that were crafted with such artistry and resourcefulness. Visiting every stall was unique to each town, and it's good as it just goes to show how proud respective places are to their own products. Besides of what I've shown, there were more things that were being sold. Moving forward, we cannot miss out the main target for this event, the people. There were definitely a lot of locals and visitors coming all over towns and cities in Pangasinan, especially at this time where people can now move around more freely. This is the experience here at Expo and as you can hear we have a live band performance behind me and looking from the surroundings we also have a lot of visitors from a lot of places not just in Lingayen but also in Dagupan, Binmalay, in every place because of course this attracts a lot of people it's called Pistai Daya. By the way, coming here, of course, we also cannot miss the scrumptious food that we can find. Ranging from the classics, drinks, to the distant food that we can only savor at this time of festival, there were a lot of indeed to choose from. As much as I want to cover it now, I'm going to save it for the next video. The time was quick and before we even knew it, the sun was setting. What can, what can you say about this experience that we are here in the expo? To be honest, I am feeling stressed right now because I, I have never thought that this vlog would be very hard. Especially that it's, it's very challenging because there's a lot of people in here and a lot of issues have have risen up have risen up hindi ko alam siya sabi ko basta yun madaming problema na kainis na hindi ko alam kung ano I don't know what, how will this vlog will turn out to be but let's just see right I'm just think positive I think this vlog will be fun <laughs> okay Pistay Diet indeed was a festival to feel because it was a time for us to enjoy the moment of being so free again while having fun in what we can experience as a Pangasinense myself I am proud of this place because it is where I was born and the way of living here is not too advanced yet not too old if I were to say. Where are you from? Uh, from Aguilar, Pangasinan. <laughs> Why did you come here at Capital? Uh, because yes, because there, my parents influenced me and there are many foods here, right? They're here in Expo to be experienced and mainly events to watch. I felt glad being able to roam around a part in my town as I honestly do not normally do. Celebrating Pistai Diet indeed though gave way for me to bond with my friends while taking part in being grateful for the year's abundance of sea harvest. Well, as for the visitors, I would recommend you to visit our place if you have some time. Probably in the next years, 
Pangasinan, specifically Lingayen, will start to even prosper. For you to be more convinced, stay tuned and see the next one. We'll be tackling the most delicious food I found here at Expo with my friends, eaten in a very Filipino way. This has been Jay, wondering how odd, isn't it? Nanay ko, uwi na ako!